Welcome. Today I would like to talk about uh, the covariance uh, that uh, you often see in C sharp. And what it basically means is uh, from this uh, Microsoft document, you can say it means enable you to use a more derived type than the type specified by the generic parameter. And usually for a parameter, you can use the out keyword to do this. So let's uh, me demonstrate an example. So it will be a little bit more clear as to what I'm talking about. So let's say we have an abstract class life form and uh, we have uh, concrete classes such as giraffe and zebra, which basically inherit from life form. And we, this life form uh, class provides an a static object or static method which basically takes an I list of life forms and uh, prints the type of the I forms for all of those uh, elements in that list. So that's pretty straightforward. So let's go into the program and uh, create a list of life forms. So we are creating a list of life forms. We have one new giraffe, new zebra, and these are my animals and I'm going to print them. So let's see how this works. And I know it works because I've already tried it, but let me just clear this list and run this program here and as expected you would see it will print the types as giraffe and zebra so here you can see it is printing the types as giraffe and zebra so far so good uh, but let's say you didn't want to do this and you wanted to alter this example a little bit so let me uh, uh, make a little change here instead of making a, a, a list of life forms let me just make a list of zebras so I make a list of zebras here, uh, sorry, giraffes. And uh, so that should work. We have a list of giraffes, but I can't pass this list of giraffes to my animals. But it is complaining that it cannot convert hello giraffe to hello life form. That seems, so here is a situation we have a derived type and it cannot be converted into its more base type. And uh, so now how do we fix it? So the solution is actually pretty straightforward. Microsoft has provided an alternative for us to do that. So what we can do is, uh, since the I list uh, uh, does not pro uh, provide such a method, uh, we can use something called I enumerable here, I enumerable. And if you use the I enumerable, then you, if you go into your program, see the problem went away. And if you dig deeper as to why this problem went away is if you just have to look at the definition of I enumerable. So if you look at the definition of I enumerable, it is enabling covariance through this on the generic type parameter with this uh, keyword out, the one we talked about. So that is actually what is enabling us to solve this problem. And uh, I, uh, uh, one of the reasons this is allowed is because I enumerable does not have any methods which can allow changes to the collection. So it is safe to use this out keyword. So once I do this, uh, it should all work. The compiler is pretty happy and uh, let me just uh, run this here and uh, you would see that this would be uh, working perfectly as we expected. So this is actually a pretty good example of how you can uh, use covariance with generics in your examples. Uh, if you And I'm going to put this video under my website under Gaur Associates. Uh, I'll probably put it under C Shark generic covariance and uh, you have a good day.